Hey everyone, Tech here. Welcome to Tech's Tavern. Grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's continue our Let's Play on Crusader Kings 2 Croatia. And first of all, I apologize for the little bit of the break. I think it's been like five days or something since the last episode. Um, but I've been a little busy with some real life stuff and doing a couple other videos. As you guys might have saw, I started a LP series for a game of Dwarves, which is a pretty cool game. Um, some of you guys ought to check that video out if you haven't had a chance so far. Um, I've also been messing around with a few other things in particular. Um, just giving you guys watching this video a bit of a preview is I'm actually messing on the alpha of the Prison Architect game, which some of you may have heard of here recently. Um, so I've been messing with that and I'm putting a video together for that as well. However, one thing for our Crusader Kings 2 here that I want to point out is one thing I'm working on, and I kind of wanted to give a sneak hint preview here on this video for you guys watching, um, and then we'll get to the action here real quick. I mean, this episode shouldn't be very long, um, but stop getting distracted, tech. Um, but what I'm working on for my Crusader Kings 2 is um, I'm actually working on a sort of timeline biography episode, so to speak, um, that I'm planning on putting together here within the next couple of weeks. I'm, I'm wanting to finish it up. And essentially what it's going to be is it's going to be like about a... I'd like it to be a, about a five-minute episode, you know, five to eight minutes at the most episode, that basically gives a complete summary timeline of this entire series up to that point. So what I want to kind of do is I want to kind of start with Demetar, our first king, move through Ash to Lucas to Lucas the second, and 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 go through all the kings, take clips from the old videos, talk real briefly about what they did during their reign, show pictures of the map progression, and just kind of give a real basic outline of what has happened up to this point. And my hope is, is that if I put that video up, and I may not even label it as a number within the series, I may just put it up, I'll put it in the playlist of this series, but I may just put it up as a separate episode on its own. And my hope is, is that maybe some people that are subscribers to my channel um, or people who, who uh, come along in the future, but the, p maybe people who are subscribers to my channel, and maybe they watch my XCOM and my Quick Looks and things like that, but they steer away from the Crusader Kings Let's Play because they sit there and they say, oh, geez, there's 70-something episodes. Well, I'm, I'm not even going to bother trying to get caught up on that. I'm hoping maybe if I do that timeline biography episode, it kind of basically gets them up to date to a certain degree. I mean, yeah, they miss out on a lot of the fun things that have happened here and there, but at least gets them up to a point to where they can say, hey, okay, I understand what's going on. Yeah, I guess I'll start watching it at this point. So I'm, I, that's something I'm, I've kind of been tossing around, thinking about for a couple of weeks, and I'm going to kind of start working on. So anyway... And please feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below on that idea. I mean, if you guys think, oh, geez, that's a terrible idea, you know, <laughs> or whatever, I'm, I'm interested in hearing your opinions on that. Um, okay, so let's get going on this episode. Uh, a couple big things we're going to do right away, and I'm probably going to shock you guys with some of this stuff. One thing I want to do right away, a couple big things we got going on. We got Dimitaro is our king now, and he's 17, married. Everything's good with that. They like each other. Everything's good there. One thing I think I'm going to do, though, and this has been discussed in, in the comments with some of my s subscribers, and I've had some messages, is one thing that I've been battling with over the last couple of kings is that I'm currently, I am the king of three countries, as you can see here from this hover. I'm the king of Croatia, which is our main, we are Croatia. I'm also the king of Hungary, because... For years and years, they kept threatening us and attacking us, and finally we had enough of it, and we kicked their ass and became king of Hungary. <laughs> and then we kind of slid in sideways and became king of Serbia, because Serbia is, and I'll show you on the du jours here, here's Serbia. And so we're the king of Croatia, we're the king of Hungary, and we're the king of Serbia. Although we say everything is Croatia, but those countries, they still, the underlying du jours of those still exist, obviously, within the game. Um, with Serbia, the way it is right here, is there is seven counties to Serbia. And we actually, because of some of our recent exploits in yoinking things away from Byzantine and the like, um, we currently hold 
six of the seven. The only one we don't have is Belgrade right here. We have all four of these, and we have Box and Tim's up here. Um, what I am going to do, though, is because I'm tired of the jostling of the three kingdoms, um, I am going to destroy the title of Kingdom of Serbia. And my reasoning behind that is because right here, instead of me always having to worry about the succession of three different kingdoms, I can then just worry about the succession of two. Just worry about Croatia and Hungary. Now, I can't destroy Hungary and make everything be Croatia because there's just way too many counties and things in Hungary. It's, it's too... <laughs> they would get pissed <laughs> and it would be too much for me to deal with right now. Um... So, but I can handle two. But three, having to dick around with, excuse my uh, Croatian there, uh, having to mess around with Serbia is just an unneeded headache. And I don't believe, I mean, I hold, let's see. I gave some of them away. I only hold actually one of the counties. I hold Roshka. The other ones I've given away to people. That dude's in jail, so he ain't got a whole lot to say about it. Which actually, he may... He has a 98 opinion of me, even though I got him in jail. It's pretty hilarious. I may actually just let... Which... I don't even remember... Oh, was he the revolt? I think that was the revolt, wasn't it? I think... Yeah, I think they revolted, and that's why he's in jail. I'll let him out. Um, yeah, get the hell out. Don't let me, don't let me hear from me again. Yeah, you better like me. Um, so anyway, we are going to destroy uh, the kingdom of Serbia. Um. Just as soon as I remember how to... Okay, yeah, you gotta go in here, and you gotta click on here. Okay, here we go. Um, now, as you can see here, destroying this title is gonna cost me 400 prestige, which is, pr is a pretty hefty hit, considering right now I only have 1,100. But this king is young, and we're gonna have plenty of opportunities. Plus, we have a grand tournament to do here. And um, all the va the all du jour vassals from the kingdom of Serbia will be upset. Um, but that's not really a big issue right now, because I'm generally, I think, in the green with just about everybody, except for just a couple, just one, actually, and that's the Ungvar kid, which I should have my, and Zadar, where's he at? Wait a minute. Okay, I don't... Okay, what, I don't care what you're... Whatever you're doing, go over there. Try to work on that guy a little bit. All right, so let's get back to this. Okay, I get, I'm going in circles here for a second. Okay, we're going to destroy the kingdom of Serbia. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and let this run for a second. We're also going to, um, on the successor nominations, so now we only got two to worry about. On this right now, until we have a son, we're going to nominate our brother Conan. And on this one, we can't do anything about this. What my my goal is, hopefully, is I have Croatia as um, elective. And I know this episode is going to be a bit of a weird one here because we're talking about a lot of goofy stuff. Um, but on Croatia, we're um, elective. And I know for some of you who've joined late, one big thing with the way I play Crusader Kings is I try to keep my vassals happy. Keep my vassals in the green, less bad shit happens. Man, I'm sorry about keep throwing the S word out. <laughs> um, 
if you keep all of your vassals happy, you can go with elective, and generally you'll get things your way as long as everybody's happy. The only time elective really hoses you is if you're kind of you're being real um, Holy Roman Empire-ish and taking over lots of people and constantly invading, and you're you're having a lot of uh, people that are mad at you constantly. And and we're kind of not going through that period right now, so you can get away with elective. You know, if you're doing a lot of that kind of stuff, then usually you got to be like seniority or something because then it just you know it's a revolving you know within your family. But as, if elective, if you keep everybody happy and you just keep electing your son, generally the other people will go along with you if you keep them happy. Um, now see, she is nominating herself, and the Ungvar guy is nominating him, I guess, is how that's going. Um, my hope is, is after I get 10 years, okay, he, I haven't reigned for 10 years, and someone has a negative opinion, which is the Ungvar guy, which we'll work on that between now and then. Worst case scenario, we'll... Uh, send Leon over to um, take care of it. But um, in 10 years, I, I'm planning to change Hungary to elective and then get both of them on elective and then we don't have to deal with Serbia anymore and then that's that. So higher on our list right now is to get a son. So we need Dimitaro and Lopa to get the, get the business going on. Um, right, Conan is, we'd, we would be playing as Conan if we were to get executed. Okay, and we need to do our grand tournament. That is the main goal of this episode, is to do that. So we are going to do the tournament, because the, uh, the benefit that has is a big, you only get to do it once for each king, and it's a big, a big opinion boost. So we will, once you look, the Ungvar guy is not that far off now. I'll pause this for a second. Oh, geez, here goes the factions nonsense. Actually, he's in the green now all of a sudden. Wow, even higher in the green. That went fast. Um, what do we got going on here? Slavokia, independence. Um, okay. I'm not too worried about that right now. This factions thing is a new thing that got added, I guess, with the Rome expansion. And to touch while we're letting time run by here, seeks to kill me. He has a most excellent goatee. He kind of looks like one of the Baldwin brothers, doesn't he? I don't know if I should assassinate him for that or not. In plot, idiot. Um, the factions thing is crazy. Now I've had some people ask me um, about. Yes, it is misdirected. Ask me about the expansions and am I going to change the expansions and this, that, and the other. No, as some of you have been with me on this from the beginning, my intent is is to to play this through to the end and play it on vanilla. So I'm not going to um, Jacob Jack. <laughs> Jack Jack. Jack Jack has been tragically killed. His spouse is Odola uh Nembatar. That dude had a awesome mustache. It is ex that is really too bad that this has happened. It is most unfortunate. So yeah, we're gonna play it through to the end on vanilla, and then when I finish this I kind of see myself probably always having a CK2 series going, and I think what my what my idea goal is is to try to speed the series up a little bit, and then eventually when this series is over, whether I finally get stomped out by the hordes or something, or get through to the end, um, which we still have a long ways, we still got 200 years to go, or whatever. Um, is that right? Yeah, because we've only done like 130. Um, Oh, right. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, he was doing the religious conversion there. Excellent that you reminded me. I need you to move now and get Waldenstein. Convert populace there. 
That's our last holdout on the um, the heretics. We've got to get that sorted. Um, let's take a look at our vassals real quick again. Okay, he kind of keeps dipping back and forth a little bit, doesn't he? How old is he? 15? Okay, well, we'll give it... He turns adult, it'll probably get worse, but we'll let it go. Alright, that dude is the champion, and he has another most excellent mustache. My dude has got to get a beard or something here soon. This tournament is going pretty good. Oh, the pest guy came in second. Most valiant performance. Oh my goodness, revolt during a, the ending of a tournament. Okay. Hey, JML Ong is now online. I don't know why I don't turn that off. I think some of you guys like purposely try to log in when you see me on a game. And <laughs> I swear. Um, okay. We got some uh, revolts going on over there. Um... Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, and there we go. We get our big block of opinion boosts. It was a glorious event. I can't even see the button to click on it. Um, let me hurry up and get this sorted here. Am I going to have enough there, or am I going to need to? Oh, man, I thought we had a son. But I didn't get the pregnant thing yet, so I guess that would have been kind of impossible. I may not have enough here. No, I don't. Um, and we need to start building some improvements to start getting more. Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> Most excellent. Um, yowza. Um, all right, whatever. We'll just hurry and raise a bunch and. them out of the way. I don't need all these, obviously. Okay. Yeah, of course. I guess I could have avoided that, but... Um, Forty boost, really? No. Okay, we'll check. We'll look at that in a second. I ain't got time to look at that right now. Okay, stop. That. 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 Just move them over here, just in case. That. That. Okay. Another faction formed. Oh, that the the look. Okay, that guy, the guy that had the other one died. I guess I think, I think that's what that was saying. Oh, jeez, what happened now? I lost diligent. Oh, okay, I guess the revolt is over. So I guess I can go ahead and. I didn't quite catch what happened there, but. All right. Okay. And I don't think I dismissed any troops that were crossing out of my territory. I don't believe did I? I think that looks about right. Um. Oh, I'm getting that penalty for the duchies. You know, and I knew that. I remember a couple of you guys told me that before, and that, you know, and it just it totally slipped my mind. I have too many duchies, I think. I think I have three, and you only want to have two, I believe, is what it is, because I believe that's a probably a negative from a lot of people. Um. Too many duchies. I'm getting a negative 10 because of the too many duchies thing. 
Um, boy, I sure would like to hold off and hand that to a son, though. Um, how's he got the Duchy of Croatia? Slavonia, Roshka, and Bosnia. Okay, so Bosnia is the... Okay. I could give that one up. The Roshka one. Give it to my brother. Um... Okay, that should take care of that penalty, I think. Yeah, okay. I think everybody's fallen back into line better. That was a mistake on my part. I think I remember Gecko Mies or somebody telling me that I had too many and I didn't listen. Oh, most excellent. Look at that, it tried to name it Lucas automatically. How, how funny and cool is that at the same time? We're going to change it, though, because we've already had a couple of Lucases as king. Let's make it... Um, let's make it something a little bit different, Gabriel. Let's try something like that. It's a little different. That's a little different feel to it. Okay, so we've had a pretty good go here, and then we got a son. Most excellent. Let's change our... We have to change our nomination now to Gabriel. Where's he at? And then... Okay, we're still... We're not at 10 years yet. Um, so we still got a little ways to go on that. What, did he take over at like 13 or something, I think? Something like that. Um, anyway, okay, well, we're looking pretty good on our setup there. We got a couple things. We got our tournament accomplished. We got uh, Serbia taken care of. We got our heir now in place, Prince Gabriel. Um, we did get the uh, duchies thing sorted, so that should start making our opinions better. The Ungvar guy, we have um, uh, diplomatic relations up there working on that. Um, everybody else has got jobs going on. Our stats are pretty decent. The steward could stand to be better. Is there any better stewards available right now? And eh, not really. I could probably go hunting for one, but um, but everything else is going pretty dang good, actually. Um, oh well, the big thing we need to start in the next episode is is start doing some upgrades. Um, like I need to primarily hit some of my other counties, like Zagreb over here. And do some of the cheaper ones first to get to increase levy sizes. Um, where's it at? Okay, there's a 5% levy. Okay, that one's all good. That's 100. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we got here. That's another 100. Um, that's no, no 10% Marath, Calvary, let's do this Calvary one here, I'm staying off the Chris of it, because I think a lot of it's going to be more expensive stuff, um, the arrow sluts is fort level, Rama, um, low stone wall, levy size, 5%. Okay, so that, there we go, that's pretty good. So we got those all, let's let it take a couple days. Yep, Gabriel is our new heir. 
All right, so we're looking pretty good. So we will go ahead and stop it there. I will try to be much quicker on the next episode. But anyway, I think you guys kind of see the angle I'm going there. We got our vassals. We got our king, new king in. He's only 18. We got rid of the Serbia thing, so we got one less headache on that front. All our vassals are pretty much happy right now. We're banking some uh, prestige back up, um, banking some good money. Everything's looking good, so probably the next episode is going to be starting to look for trouble. Although Byzantine, we have to be really very careful of. We're going to get in trouble with Byzantine, but she looks like she's got her hands full right now. Um, yeah, she's busy. <laughs> so hopefully we don't have to worry about her for a little while right now, I don't think. Um, and Ruthenia, we probably should try to get a little little better in with them to be buddies and then maybe look at maybe taking Poland or something um, but we will look at that on the next episode thanks a lot appreciate everybody uh, hanging in there and please leave your comments questions suggestions ideas favorite beer whatever in the comments below thanks see you on the next one